So this is our starter kit for the ties. I'm using microengineering regular length ties. You can use Mount Albert. They're non-weathered. They're just the plain, the plain wood ones. And then I use a weathering mix. I like these hundred line ones. I got creosote black for new ties and driftwood, which I'll be using. This is kind of like for the old used up ties. And then, like you can see, I'm wearing. I get a, I get these nitro gloves. Make sure they're powder free. Don't have to touch anything. Get a disposable bowl. I'll put the ties in there. Pour in the weathering mix. And then I will take them out and put them on a shop cloth. And then you also want to have a funnel handy. So you can pour it, you know, back, back into the driftwood. You can, you can save your stain that way. So we get an old funnel here. And in the end, then you end up with your driftwood ties, which we'll make into the finished product here. So that's what we start with. Those are the things you'll need to make your discarded ties and tie piles. All right, so here's our tools for the next portion. Of course, we have our ties that we stained. We have a piece of flex track that we sliced the back and pulled them apart. We use that as a, the gauge. I have a pin vise, the pin in that. We use that to poke the tie plate holes. Got some weathering powders here. I'm gonna use the dark rust. I got micro brush to apply the weathering powders and I got double side tape. Now the double side tape comes in really handy so you can place your tie on there it'll stay in place and then we'll use that as the gauge to poke the holes in that. So we'll show you this And this is all for the to make the tie plates. And then we get a little bit of our powder. And you rust it up where the rail would have been and where they removed the tie plates. Kind of see the little holes in there. Makes a neat effect. And so I'll go ahead and make a bunch of these now. And here's the next step in taking these to the higher level is 3D printed tie plates. And you get these from GLX scale models. And they come in a hundred pack. And they come in a little plastic 
things like this that you break them off. Kind of, kind of delicate. And so I broke them off, put them on some double-sided tape and painted them. And here you can kind of see them that I have the painted ones there for handy use with a, a pliers. And then I've glued them onto my ties. And they look really good. So you can do multiples of these. And you can see I've done many of these. And then the trick is to bring out your weathering powder again. A nice soft brush. And then lightly blend this into there down the sides. So here we're placing them in the scene. It's a track coming off my rip track and this is a parts thing and this is probably where they dump old ties. So I've got the ones there and you can just start place, placing them in your scene you know however you however you want to do it. They just kind of toss them. You ever looked at the prototype photos? The ones I showed you, they just kind of toss them all over. You can use your favorite adhesive to put them in place once you got them there, but it but it adds a little bit more when they can see the rust spots, you know, from the tie plates. And then you look in there and you can actually see the holes where the spikes were driven in. It just gives you one more boost on your discarded tie pile. Thank mm -hmm. you.